All right. What's going on, you guys? Praying our caller here, and we've got a Wi-Fi battle video. Thank you guys for coming to this Wi-Fi battle. I hope you all do enjoy it, at least. Uh, make sure you like this video and subscribe for more content in the near future. I just started my senior year, which is awesome. Do expect uploads from Wednesdays and Saturdays, unless something weird happens. But, you know, and I like the schedule that it is right now. So, um, today we've got a awesome match between myself and Juan. Of course, Juan is part of the Pokemon Battle Network on YouTube. So, I'll put that link in the description. You guys can go subscribe to him there. You can watch his videos. They're pretty cool. He's got a nice... Uh, descriptive narration to his content. It's kind of interesting compared to my narrations, but you know, it's interesting all the same. But uh, yeah, so we battled before. I know his battle style. And uh, if you look at our side here, we've got an interesting team of Pokemon. We've got a defensive Umbreon. This is Sky Force the Salamence. It's designed to be a Mega Salamence, but it's like we're not doing Ubers or anything. So it's a regular Salamence, uh, a shiny Agron, a defensive, or not a defensive Shangalure, it's an offensive Shangalure. My bad. Um, it's not a scarf or anything. It's just a, I believe this is a charcoal uh, Shangalure. So it's packing a punch there, but you're not choice or anything. So that's great. A life orb septile. Not Mega, by the way. Uh, and then we have a Fake Out, Last Resort, and Pomp. The main facts on Juan's side, I'm not too bothered by Greninja. Yeah, it's Ubers right now, but, like, Greninja is, like, it, it, we got a lot of answers for it. If I had Talonflame on this team, I would definitely crush the crap out of it. But we've got Subtile, we've got, uh, we got, let's see, we got Subtile, we've got Fake Out support. So if, like, you know, Greninja is faster than some of my Pokemon, I can go into Ami Palm and fake it out and then go from there. Uh, he's got Nigo King, could be Choice Scarf, but you never know. Uh, Pikachu is not a bad choice to bring to a match. Uh, it could, it could use Volt Tackle, but rarely you see that. So I'm expecting Pikachu to have, like, Thunderbolt and a Focus Sash. Uh, as Elf and Gengar to back it up there. So this should be an interesting match. I hope you all enjoy it. Spoilers, it's a little bit short. So, there you go. All right, enjoy the match. I'll see you in a second. Okay, you guys, I'm back. So on the first turn here, we've got Umbreon starting out. He's going to start Skarmory, start with Skarmory, that is. And he has Stealth Rock, which is not a bad uh, move to go for, especially since I don't have a, a Rapid Spinner or Defogger at this point. We're going to go for Wish on the first turn. And then we'll pass it to Shangalure, who's weak to those Stealth Rocks. And we want to see if he has Brave Bird or Air Slash. In this scenario, he's got Air Slash. And that actually doesn't do very much, which is fine by me. I get my wish, and then he's going to switch out. I, I knew he was going to switch into Green Ninja, uh, but this Heat Wave here is going to be a two-hit KO. I could have stayed in, but Green Ninja is that fast. So we need to switch out of here. He's going to probably KO me with like a Hydro Pump or a Surf or something like that. Expecting that to be the case, we're going to go into Umbreon. He goes for Skald. Not a bad choice. It could burn me, but if I do get burned, my ability, Synchronize, will pass the burn to Greninja, which is not a bad trade-off, if you ask me. Yeah, it kind of hurts defensive Pokemon quite a bit there, especially Umbreon, but it's not like it's poisoned or anything. If it was toxic, then... That would be extremely bad news bears. I get a critical hit on the foul play that I go for. Uh, I would have just stayed in and gone for another one, seeing that 
it would have been a coup hit KO anyway. I'm not really sure what uh, Gengar would have done to Umbreon. So, you know, I'm not too bothered by that. Now, here is Nido King. I was expecting it to be Choice Scarfed, but it's actually not. It's a Toxic Spikes variant. I rarely see that set. But it's working out. Uh, it's working. It's working out very nicely for my opponent. He gets up two layers of toxic spikes, which I believe I I do not have a poison type on my team. I'm gonna stay in, go for a foul play, which is not going to. I mean, it's doing some damage, but like I just want to see what he's gonna go for. He can't really hit me very hard, especially a Shadow Ball. I'm not sure why he went for that, especially since it's not very effective. But we're going to go for another Wish, and then we can uh, switch out. We actually have a double switch. So he gets to go into Skarmory, and I'm going to switch into... Dun dun dun! Skyforce, these Salamence. Yeah, I made it all dramatic, right? Uh, so having Wish is very nice uh, because I'm taking Stealth Rock damage coming in. And with Wish active, I can get my HP back. I go for Return just to break his sturdy ability that he has because I can't KO it with a Fire Blast. Um, Air Slash is doing pathetic damage. I'm a little bit surprised about it. Skarmory doesn't have the greatest special attack in the world, but, like, that was so weak of a move. So we finish off him with a Fire Blast because it connected. He went for Gunk Shot here with his Greninja. I'm not sure why. He told me after the match that he predicted someone to come in expecting an ice beam, but like I was gonna sack off Salamence, to be honest. Uh, I just go for outrage. And we finish him off just like that. Cause like if he went for Ice Beam, I think he would have had a lot of Pokemon, a lot more Pokemon to use throughout the match. So that was a massive because that is pretty much like the game at this point. And you're, you're like, really? That's the match? This went way too fast. And I told you guys it would be a fast match. So if he went for Ice Beam, guys, two of his Pokemon would not have been dead right now. He would still have his Nido King and Azelf. Because now he just has uh, Pikachu, which I decided, you know what, let's just switch out and go into my Trey Fortega, which is my Sceptile. Unfortunately, we're not going to use Ambipom, but it's okay. Here you get to see how much, like, entry hazards he put out on the field. So he, we get poison here. We take Stealth Rock damage and the attack that Pikachu went for. I, th I believe that it was Wild Charge. So that is the game. I, I really thought that, like, he would have gone for Ice Beam with his Greninja. Because if he went for that, then I would have been at a, like a small disadvantage. I would have had Ambipom. I would have gone into Ambipom and fake out and everything. But you know what? It's okay. When you miss play like that, it kind of hurts you, doesn't it? And Juan, if you're watching this, a little bit of a lesson, just do a strike. I mean, if you think I'm going to switch out, then take a second thought and think, okay, do you think he's going to stay in for real? You know, it, it's just a like a lesson learning experience for you. It's a little bit of an experience for me because it's like I kind of do that all the time as well. But anyway, so thank you guys for watching this short battle. And because this is a short battle, I will have a battle up here on Friday instead of Saturday. So fun stuff. Hope you guys look forward to that. Make sure you like this video, subscribe, and comment on what you like about this video. If you have any suggestions for what he could have done or what I could have done, you never know. So, and uh, by the way, I've got a new outro, which I will show you guys in a few seconds. Have yourselves a great day. I'll see you Friday. All right, here's the outro that I worked on.